Hey, what's up? My name is Ruby Manets, and today I faced Spry Simple Challenge. Let's dive straight into the video. All right, so today, like I said, I faced the Splice Sample Challenge. Uh, like you see, we're at uh, the website Splice. It's a website where you can buy samples with certain credits. Not sponsored, by the way. Oh, and Splice, if you're watching this, hit me up. I would love to get sponsored by you. <coughs> Point is actually very simple. I'm gonna uh, randomly buy five samples and I have to use those in uh, creating a new track. The way how I'm gonna select my samples is actually very fun because I have to close my eyes and I scroll down and then I say stop and wherever my mouse or uh, yeah cursor or whatever is stopping and that's the sample I have to buy. All right, um, let's start with uh, this one. Let's go. And stop. Uh, let's buy this one. I'm not gonna check it. Like I don't wanna, you know. <laughs> I would, I would, I'm just gonna buy, and <laughs> I will see with whatever I will end up with. And maybe we can go into low vibe tech house, and let's buy our uh, second sample. Stop. It seems like a symbol high, something like a high hat. I think I just bought the sample. Let's go. Stop. Drop base. Okay. Okay, so let's select our port sample, and I think I want to go for uh, a vocal. I mean, that will be nice. Um, so let's see. Stop. Phrase. Carry away. All right. The last sample I have to select for this challenge. Um, you know what? We're also gonna do that. Uh, we're also gonna do the pack on random. Stop. Oh no. Drum breaks. The last sample, guys. Wish me luck. Stop. It's a loop. What's the BPM? 91. Very interesting. I have no clue what I just bought, but I'm super curious. Okay, let's uh, close Splice and let's open up Apple Studio and drag in all the samples I just bought on Splice. All right, I open up Apple Studio and this is going to be the first time I'm going to listen to the samples and I'm yeah, actually super excited. So uh, let's have a listen. My money, my money. Oh, I actually like that. My money, my money. I can definitely use that in in a break and oh yeah. My my money. I like that. Second one, yeah, I I guess it's or like a crash or like a hi-hat. <laughs> wow. From all the crashes all around the world, this is probably the worst crash I ever heard, like in terms of quality. <laughs> it's recorded with a microphone. What it's microphone? It's recorded with the freaking potato. Anyways, it's just the way it is. Now, this uh, is interesting because it's telling me drop bass. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, yeah. The next one. Let's have a listen. Carry it away, carry me. Ooh, nice. And then the last sample, it's like a loop. Ooh. Oh, yo. Oh, that's actually dope. All right, um, right, let's uh, stretch everything in the same BPM uh, and the same key and all that stuff. But I'm going to speed it up because it's just boring for you guys to watch. Um, let's do a little... Okay, I stretch everything in the right BPM and key. And I think I'm just gonna start with like a little kind of like break. And I wanna use that um, money money vocal. I pitched the, the vocal three semitones down. So we end up in a G sharp. So I'm gonna create some uh, chords quickly. All right, there. I, I I like the chords, but they're a little bit random. So I'm gonna make a new pattern and just gonna finalize a little. 
Okay, uh, just uh, to keep up the pace of the video, I'm just gonna use the chords how they are right now. I'm not uh, liking the ending yet so much, but what I have so far is this. So the ending is a bit random, but I will figure it out. First of all, let me see what actually fits with that money, money vocal. It's gonna create like that little standard synth we heard a million times before, but it's just so nice that why not? And then we open the vocal here. I want to control the reverb a bit, now I put it straight away on the single, but that's just, it's drawn too much, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the sand reverb to create more, I have more control right now. Yeah. You see the difference? 10 million times better already. This very ugly. Uh, crash, but I was gonna EQ it a bit, bit differently. But I will also use it in a drop. Now let's see if we can use parts of parts of the. That's nice since we now have like uh, two singles of the reverb and the original. I, I filtered like the original, so only the reverb is playing. Um, and that gives like an interesting effect, but I'm do gonna cut out a little of the high end in a reverb. Maybe we can use also parts of this. Woo! Also, maybe we can better use this uh, drum beat in the uh, uh, drop or something. Now we have to like think of a drop. What I think we what we can do is uh, because we have this. Uh very weird bass uh we take out like parts of it and create like a, a, a sub out of it out this part like cut in certain way maybe we can even create like a wave table out of it but that will be a bit of cheating maybe first of all let's make it mono Ooh, that's what i thought uh, filter the shit out of it apparently it's a b well, we have to bring it to a G, which means it should go down like three semitones. One, two, three. Maybe on the first hit, we can do like a very short pitch one. So it has a bit of a... Now it has a bit of attack to it, which is nice. Like, I think if we automate that into... Let's make the synth uh, nice because it sounds like shit. What I want to do is, I'm just curious what happens if I drag in a sample, like a synth shot. Let's see if we... Gonna, you know... The, the, the chorus on this vital is so dope. Also, we need a bit of reverb in general, so we're gonna do that with the sand reverb, of course. It's your bro, Valorum. I think we use that wisely. That can actually be really sick. Hold up, what we can do as well, like, like clap it three times. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I was doing this.
Yeah, I just try to be creative here, you know? Maybe with some reverb. Okay, what was the break? I honestly forgot about it. I don't like this. Yeah, it can work. It can work out because then if you introduce uh, the snares and stuff. So yeah, I'm um, just working on the build up to make it a bit more smooth and stuff. Oh, actually, I completely forgot to add like a side chain on top of the uh, on top of the lead. We can add like a little bit of a delay. But like uh, open it up on certain parts. I'm just gonna use that uh, crash. The ugly crash from her into like a short hi hat. It's some sort of hi hat thing. <laughs> Bit short on the reboot. Okay, I added last things uh, like, uh, for example, a little bit of uh, atmosphere in a break, and uh, I made the build up a bit better. However, I absolutely don't like the build up right now, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. For the drop, I uh, add the pitch of the bass again, because somehow I deleted that, and I did a little bit of mixing here and there. Let's have a listen. Just have a, It's not my best project, but let's have a listen. <laughs> I like the chords though. So if you want to have my honest opinion, I think it's cool, but it's lagging a lot of energy and it's just totally not unique at all. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just for a video, but I think I won't finish it. Um, but let me know what you think. It's also because I'm working on so many different kind of music, like way more melodic, uh, like very similar to my uh, latest release on Spin-In, uh, Imagine. And uh, I'm actually cannot wait to put all those records out because records out, I'm so hyped for that. Um, sometimes I drop like little sneak peeks on my Instagram, so you know if you don't want to miss out on like future Ruby Menace music, I would definitely suggest to you know follow me on Instagram. But anyways, this was the video. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. It's all fine. But for now, I want to thank you for watching this video, and hopefully, I uh, see you in a brand new Ruby Menace video next week.